James Hinchcliffe's horrific crash in 2015 at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. He might not be alive if it weren't for the quick response by the IndyCar safety team. Many people would say they are in fact the best in the business. The AMR safety team here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway has really been setting the pace in the motorsports industry for many decades. In fact, it was the first crew to travel to different venues with drivers. Our Kylie Valletta says this year the team will have more power than ever before. Kylie gives us an inside look at these true professionals. Kylie. Thank you, Gary. The AMR IndyCar safety team is known for being the best medical team in all of motorsports and this year they will be more nimble than ever. They say they are cutting the cord on their hydraulic tools. Two minutes. That's the goal for the IndyCar safety team to have the driver out of the car to the infield care center in less than two minutes. Every second counts and the safety team says new equipment being used for the first time at this year's Indy 500 will shave seconds off their response time. Four pieces of equipment on the safety truck help cut a driver out of wreckage. And they build the pump into the tool now. Each piece came with a 16-foot hydraulic hose to power the tool. But this year, the cords are gone. The tools are now battery powered. When we have big lines and big tools. We can't just stretch them across the road and leave them there, you know, so everything has to come with us to that side. So the fact that we can grab a portable tool and go right to work and not have that big spread out tool footprint is, uh, you know, a lot better operation for us too. Quite frankly, the, the portable aspect of it can put us to work a lot faster than we normally would. The higher tech tools also have new sensors. Boffman says much like a car transmission, the tools shift through six gears automatically adjusting to the task at hand. Once it senses pressure, it's, it, it puts the right gear in and it creates in, enough force to actually cut that product, whatever the tool is feeling. Now two by two through turn two. The and new, just last year, black boxes were installed on Indy cars that track in real time car information, things like speed and RPM. But once we apply it to some sort of sensor, whether it's a wrist sensor or a chest vest harness or something to the driver, we'll be able to you know, the goal is to be able to pull some of that biometric data. So respiratory rate, heart rate. The technology is almost ready. It would mean the safety team could monitor drivers' biometric data live while they're driving 200 miles per hour and have their vitals before they get to an accident scene. Boffman has been on the IndyCar safety team for more than four decades. He says his biggest goosebump moment was just two years ago when he saw former IndyCar driver Sam Schmidt walking. That's pretty wild. Boffman was on the crew 20 years ago that pulled Schmidt from the wreck that paralyzed him from the shoulders down. Come walking out here in an exoskeleton, it, it stopped me in my tracks because you're thinking, boy, that didn't really have that great outcome. But Sam made it great. You know, it, he really did. So those types of moments, uh, we see Hinch running around here and you think, boy, that could have went completely different. So there's a lot of times things stop you in your tracks and make you feel good. And as for Tim, this will be the 41st Indy 500 that he's worked on the safety team. You can imagine how he's seen technology change. Gary, back to you. All right, Kylie, thank you. Great story uh, about a crew that does an amazing job year in and year out.